What's happening, Morgan School students? It's Mr. Flood. Fear not if none of you remember me. I was at your school like a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, giving an assembly. It's all right. Listen, I... It's okay. I, I'm not concerned if you remember me. I'm more concerned if you remember something that I said. Hopefully two things, maybe even three. I wanted to come back for a couple of reasons, guys and girls. Number one is to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You all treated me so respectfully when I was there. You know, I walk into, I was in well over 100 schools last year. I think somewhere around 105, 110 and, you know, most schools treat me well, but you were prepared and you were kind and you were quiet at the appropriate times and you laughed at the appropriate things. So, you know, that always, when I have a, a great audience and you were, um, uh, that was great. So thank you so much for the way that you treated me. And the second reason I'm coming back is because I want to remind you of the challenges that I gave you when I was there. We all forget things so quickly you know, they with so much information we're overloaded with, just things just come and go constantly in and out of our minds. And inspiration and motivation are just like food. You're not living on what you ate a month ago, um, and you need to take in inspiration and motivation as much as possible. Just like you take care of your body, you got to take care of your mind. So, the the challenges that I gave you to, were to look on the inside of people. If whenever you meet someone, or even if you know them and you're having difficulty with them, or even if you're not having difficulty with them, think quiet and say quietly to yourself, that person's just like me on the inside. They're just like me on the inside. And I think when you give off that energy, when you radiate that energy, people will do the same for you. They will give you the benefit of the doubt. So look on the inside of people. Second challenge, which is so super important, is to th say thank you to and show respect for two adults in the building constantly. As far as I'm concerned, you can walk around every day and just say thank you to adults in the building all day long. And watch what comes back to you when you do that. You know, you just, people just look at you differently. They treat you differently. Um, you are going to need in your middle school career, in your high school career, in your college career, trusted adults to go to for help, guidance, and direction. And the third challenge I gave you was that no one should have to eat alone. And you know, if you don't see it in the cafeteria, just look for any opportunity where you can include someone in a conversation, in the classroom, on the bus, in the hallway, wherever. How can I welcome more people into my life? How can I welcome more? How can I include more people in my life? You can never have, you can never have too many friends. There's no such thing. Right? Oh, I don't have to, time to devote to these people, Mr. Flood. Yes, you do. You just be there for them. So include more people in your life. Expand your friend groups. I had an awesome time at the Morgan School, uh, especially with the, the the group workshop that we did. You guys were all awesome and get, you know just said some tremendous things um, and showed tremendous courage that day, a lot of you. So you have a great staff there, awesome teachers, and everybody. So I'm grateful for my time there. I hope I run into you somewhere in Connecticut, Starbucks, Panera. Dunkin' Donuts, Dunkin' Donuts, Dunkin' Donuts, or somewhere. Hope you're all well. Have an awesome second half to the year. Take care, guys and girls.